Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and I'm here today to bring you guys another gameplay episode of Besiege. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how I fly into the danger zone by making an awesome airplane in Besiege. Now, this is obviously a paper airplane, but in the game world, we are going to create a plane based off of this. So, I'm going to walk you through all my experimentation, and this is probably going to get boring, which is why I'm now including a face cam to see if I can't keep it from getting too boring. So, let's see how this turns out. So, bear with me guys. If you like the idea of having a little bit of face time with me, let me know, and I will continue doing this in all my subsequent episodes. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to use this as a base level model for showing you guys what I mean in the real world. In fact, let me show you guys how well this thing flies. This is really freaking cool. Here, check this out. I'm gonna try and aim for my uh, my camera stand right there. Yeah. Oh, and it went to the left. <laughs> uh, so I'm not good at throwing paper airplanes, but it flies really well as you just saw. So I'm gonna go grab it and I'll be back. And it is just like that. It is now nighttime. Uh, several hours have passed since I went off and grabbed this thing from the uh, front door. But uh, good news is I now have it. If you don't believe me, it is now dark. <laughs> uh, yeah. Things happen. I don't usually record everything all. <laughs> I don't usually record everything in one shot, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and get started on the stupid plane. So first off, we're gonna have to create the propeller system. I'm sure uh, that's one of the key ingredients to any sort of flying machine, right? So let's go ahead and grab our swivel joints. Then let's add a little spinner blocky thingy, just like that. A few motors. Why not? Let's add four of them. Another spinny blocky thingy, and a propeller. Make sure it faces vertical because you do not want it face sideways. Just like that. Okay, we got ourselves a motor. All right, I should probably should probably change that. Uh, let's see, plus minus auto, oh, minus automatic and full speed. Copy paste to everything. Paste, paste. Yeah, there we go. Now next, let's go ahead and add a nose cone. Okay. And we've got our motor, guys. So let's go ahead and test this out. Bring us all the way up in the air and let's see it fly. And die. Wow. Um, hmm. I think I forgot to do something, and that is flip these back fins. All right, now we did that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we got a flying motor. Oh, wow, that flew apart. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on invincibility really quick because we don't really care so much about the durability of the aircraft right now. We just want to get it to fly first. So uh, uh, let's try working on that first. Now, I remember in previous uh, builds that I've seen online on the Besiege subreddit as well as on YouTube, a lot of people like using flaps to kind of roll the aircraft. So if they wanted to, you know, roll left or roll right, they use flaps to to kind of uh, rotate and then induce that roll. Problem with that though is that there's no way to return the flaps back to neutral when you let it go of the button. Uh, so I'm going to do, use a different method to induce a roll on the aircraft and that is using the torque steering method. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that should be good enough. Actually, we need to space this out a little bit. Let's put a ballast. Reduce that to 2.0, then re-add these two again properly, just like that. Actually, let's remove these and raise this up from that. Okay, I think we're good. Now that we have the ability to roll this aircraft, uh, it looks a little jittery, but that's okay. We'll work on that later. Let's go ahead and add a way to pitch the aircraft up and down. So keep using this. I have to remember I have this as an example. Pitch the aircraft up and then down. So to do that, let's go ahead and add more motor wheels. Uh, it's going to induce more torque on the body and also increase the weight, but we don't really care as long as we brace it up properly. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, very cool. So the idea here is that we can now pitch up and down. So pitch Oh, we should probably set these wheels to a certain number. So this to 8, this to 5 on the number pad. Uh, paste, paste, paste. So let's go ahead and make sure this thing can pitch up. Okay, very nice. Pitch down. Very good. 
We could still roll just fine. Okay, cool. So if you look at it from this angle, right, and you pitch up, see how it kind of bends a little bit from the back? So it kind of goes like this a little bit. Yeah, I don't like that. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, looks good. Can I do rolls? Yes, it can. Look at that. That thing is spinning like a top. Wow, look at those. Look at those crazy maneuvers in the air. It's like a stunt plane. Oh, man, I think I'm, I think I'm actually going to manage to make a stunt plane here, guys. Let's see how this turns out. It takes off, and it can fly. Yeah, cool. All right, we're getting somewhere. What is next on the agenda for making this a real plane? Other than, uh, well, we can't really make it cool, look very cool at the moment. I'll work on that later, but for now, we've got the main concept in the works. Um, yeah, actually, I think it might need more lift. Let's go ahead and try to give it more lift. Uh, pitch down, pitch up just fine, I should say. You can able to roll, okay. And let's test the bomb. Let's go for that windmill. Fly all the way over there. Avoid the flying she flaming sheeps. And... Bombs away! Oh, I missed it. No! But pretty effective, though. I think we have a nice solid plan, guys. Let's go take this to the uh, main story. Alright, here we are. Now let's go ahead and see how well this does in uh, several of the stages. I'm kind of curious. Let's get this guy going. Take off into the air. All right. Pull it back around. Oh man. Uh, and bombs away. And I missed. Pretty close though. Pull up. Turn around. Ah, come on. Ah, no! I am a crappy pilot, and there goes the tail. Let's see if we can't brace that up so it stops doing that. <gasps> ah, come on! Ah, we'll get this, guys. We'll get this. Then nose down, pitch down. Uh, come on. Got this. You got this. Bombs away. Ah, too far. Okay. And then bombs away. There we go. That's it. Yes! Ah, oh, we finally got it. We finally got the house, guys. Let's move on to the next zone. Ah, oh, this thing is this thing's pretty cool once you get the hang of the actual piloting part. Now the windmill shouldn't be too tough. It's a bigger object. Should be easier to hit, right? Not quite. <laughs> pull, pull over this way. Come on, bank, bank. Ah, oh, that would have been a pretty crazy maneuver though, actually. There we go. No one needs to land. All right. Next zone. <laughs> ah, this one shouldn't be too bad. Let's just fly into it. Crash landing should be all I need. Let's get rid of that bomb because we don't need it. And here we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're blasting through these zones. Now, my only concern is the uh, the resource gathering zones because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do those ones. I don't think these archers will be able to get me. I move too constantly, or I'll be moving too much for them. Oh god, they still shot me. Oh, ah, I only got one. I have to dive on the other, or uh, cr do a suicide run for the other. Oh wait, no, it's on fire. No, I want to do this first. Ah, get over here! Nah, well. <laughs> ah, next zone. Let's let's keep moving. This is looking pretty good. Hmm. This one. I think it would actually be better if I just die where I'm at. Oh, that didn't quite work out. Hmm. Our landing gear is broken, but that's okay. We don't need it. Roll out. Let's take down these archers. There we go. Oh, and I crashed. Dang. Gather around. Okay, now I'm going to crash. Okay. I should just about do it. It looks like everyone is running towards me, so that's good. Come on, spread that fiery love. Yes. Spread. Come on. Nah, it's not going to be enough. Dang it. Freaking A. Hmm. I'm going to have to make some minor modifications to this guy. 
It's going to have to work a little bit slower, but have more firepower at the same time. So let's see what I can do with this plane. Oh yeah. Here we go. This is the newly upgraded version. I have two rows for my rolling, for my aircraft rolling, and I have two, three, I still have six for the pitch up and pitch down. I've decreased the motor speed just a little bit so that I can do steady attacks. Uh, I still have the same bomb, but this should be a little more precise now, so let's see what we can do with this. And, even better, I have retractable landing gear, so look at that. Oh man. Okay, 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 I'm getting a bit of lag. Because there's so many parts. It's okay. It's a little bit slower. I can still control just fine. I am working this camera like a maniac at the moment. Ah. Oh my god, this frame rate. Ah. Hmm. Uh oh, what's going crazy? Set everyone ablaze and just start pushing that way. Come on. Oh, I think we got it. Ah, uh, come on, spread it more. Spread the love. Come on, guys. Spread. Ah, okay. Oh, well, that just happened. Okay, so it's, it's, apparently this plane is too much for my computer to calculate, even though I have a 4770K. It's kind of annoying, but I hope the release of Unity 5 will correct that. Spin it around. Get a good look of where we're at. And then dive bomb. There we go, that should do it. There's plenty of flaming parts for everyone to enjoy. I think. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna bring back one of my old one of my old designs here. Uh let's see, what have I got? I'm gonna use the old UFO. Come on, let's do this. I'm getting tired of losing. Wow. I didn't plan on that. Come on, take off in the air. Go a little faster. Where are the controls for this? Let's see, I'm far back, left, right. Okay, cool. Now let's take them all down. Got them all lined up. Drop set number one. Move out the way. <laughs> oh, this UFO is still great. <laughs> and they will all die as they come falling back to the planet. Now let's take down these archers. Line them, line them up in the bombing reticle, then drop number two. Oh no, did I mess that up? I think I messed that up. I need to kill at least one more. Oh, never mind. We're good. All right, UFO is the way to go. <laughs> what do you know, Joe? Ah, oh, that was bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely would not be able to do this mission with the plane. I'm glad I switched the UFO. Let's just get these all done with. Ah. There we go, that's number one. Then, number two. We're good, even though the UFO broke, it's fine. Then of course, this one's pretty easy. Just gotta fly into it. We're good. Next zone. <laughs> ah, this UFO is so much nicer than that plane. I mean, helicopters in general are actually the flying machines meant for this game. I mean, you can make a plane, but they're really not good for these kinds of missions. You need precision for these missions. Like this. I can actually drop these bombs into the castle walls if I really wanted to. That's how precise I can be with this thing. Look at that. That was inside the castle walls. Both bombs. Anyways, next zone. We're gonna we're we're gonna go back to the plane for the very last mission, but for now we're gonna blaze through as many of these as we can using the UFO. Oh no, what happened? Oh. Actually, let's bring another old oldie but goodie back. Let's bring back Nemo. All right, let's do this. Oh crap! Come on, lift off. I'm not used to this anymore. Ah no! Come on, lift off. I forgot how to control this. <laughs> what do I do? Um, let's see. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. Now that we got that, let's go ahead and drop down a little bit. It's fine. I feel like there's a lot more archers left than I thought. Let's drop them down. Oh no! Ah, okay, maybe 
Maybe new mode is not the best for this mission. Let's... There we go. And let's just plow right through. We are armored. We don't care. We don't care about what we do. None of you can pen penetrate this armor. Not even you. Um, how do I fire this thing again? There we go. Very nice. <laughs> I haven't used that one in a long time. Let's see, this should be good enough for this mission. Let's fire all three. Oh, <laughs> I think it has to rotate a little bit. Uh, a little less. And a little higher. There, higher. Hmm. Come on. And how do I launch? V? H? Yeah, there we go. H. Oh, and that didn't work. Hmm. Wow. Okay. All right. Maybe a little wrecker isn't good enough anymore. Let's, uh, let's go to our catter truck. There we go. Good enough. All right. Next mission. Nope. You are not beating me this time. Seriously, that, that castle is destroyed. How did I not win? There we go. Now it's good. Oh, look at that. I almost killed everyone, too. <laughs> uh, this one should be pretty easy. Oh, no. <laughs> we need to get rid of this bomb. Why does that keep happening? Come on. Okay. Good. Hit the hydraulics and lower that. All right, cool. Remember, guys, I'm just getting through the mission so that the very last one is going to be nothing but the plane. Apologies for those of you who actually find the sheep kind of cute and furry and fuzzy. Unfortunately, the objective of this mission is, in fact, to kill them, so I must do my duty as a completer of missions to kill all the sheep, or at least 90% of the sheep. This version is so much nicer in terms of maneuverability. All right, cool. We're good. Let's move on. Ah, right. Let's go up here. I don't think I've actually played through the missions using version two of this guy yet. Oh, and for good reason. Wow, okay. Actually, a lot easier. Oh, okay. Uh, right when I say that, I have a really hard time to get up here. <laughs> All right, cool. Next. Yeah, I definitely would not be able to beat these with a the plane. So now that we're at the last mission, let's open up that good old plane, the new one. And figure out what to do with this. All right, guys. Let's go into the attack mode. Landing gear up. Bring the sucker back around. Yeah, bombing run. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, what happened? What the hell? I just... Come on! This game was not made for planes. Or rather, planes definitely were not made to be in this game. Ah. What the heck is going on? In the middle of like trying to figure out what to do next, I just saw this the bar at the bottom like just start to build up like crazy. Okay, let's try that again. Da, 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 da. Turn this around. Time for our bombing run. Head directly for the castle. At least the payload. Yeah. Now, how am I gonna destroy the rest of the buildings? Actually, I just realized that this may not be possible with this, uh, with this plane. Hmm. Um, so how can I do this? Let's see if I can outfit this with a little bit of missiles. What do you say? Oh man, here we go, guys. I just outfitted with a couple of missiles, which I will admit these were not my original designs. The actual launching points are my own design, but the missile themse missiles themselves, or missiles, however you want to pronounce it, themselves, 
are definitely not my design. I forgot who made these originally. I'm sorry if I don't give you credit. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and try and take down this base. Oh man. <laughs> and release the missiles. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I don't care if I don't win. That was amazing. Holy crap, I want to do that again. Holy crap, look at this. Look at this thing. This thing is a beast. Holy crap. Okay, let's bring this around. Turn the entire guy around. All right. Now, unleash the payload. Come on. Ah. Missiles away. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Air to surface missiles, guys. That is pretty cool. I think this will become part of the official design once I have it all hammered out and ready for the uh, tutorial. Assuming, of course, you guys want this as part of my tutorials videos. Uh, so just uh, let me know if you do want this as part of the tutorials and I'll show you guys how to make it. Oh man. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, I think that was a win already. I don't care if I don't beat this mission. That in itself is a win. Oh man, this thing is really cool. Anyways, guys, I think I will call it a day after that, and I will see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you really liked it and would like to see more of this kind of stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there. Right below me is the, the, link, the link to the previous gameplay episode where I used the catapult truck to beat all the levels, and below that is the tutorial video for that said catapult truck. So thank you guys once again for watching, and have a nice day.